Okay, so we've let our rows set up overnight and here is the finished piece. Of course you can add more petals if you wanted a larger rows and um, just take your next size up in terms of the cutter and you'll probably need about another seven to eight and you're just gonna carry on the same as we have with all the other rows. So in terms of colouring the yellow rows, um, if you look at roses in nature, especially like this colour in yellow, they have a slight peachy tone um, on the edges where they might have been frayed a bit or kind of, you know, slightly worn by the elements. They'll go a little bit of like a brownie colour or a deeper pink. So you can kind of just play around. Um, but these are the colours that I choose to use. So I have this dusty pink edible tint by Sugar Flare. Um, I have like an aubergine colour, this is called Heather, but you can you kind of switch between this and like an aubergine-y, purpley colour. Um, also, if you wanted to deepen the colour of your rose, you could use another yellow. This is a Cornish cream, which is a little softer. And I also have a peachy tint, but I do just tend to mix these just to get a colour that I like. In terms of the brushes, I will use a soft bristle to kind of get into the bottom of the petal and add some shadows and then I'll use flat tips to kind of highlight those edges and those little tears and markers that we've made on the very tips of the petals. Some peach in here. We've got some dusty pink already to the side. A little bit of the heather. And I'll put some yellow just for good measure, which I might blend in. Kind of depends how this looks when I do it. Get a little bit of kitchen towel tissue paper just to um, take off the excess. And the first thing I will do is I will go in with the peach, dab this off. And I'm going to go right in and essentially massage this just into those nice little curves, those cup shapes that we created, especially towards the very centre of the rose. You can just blend this in and drag this a little bit up. Just highlight the grooves that you've made. I'm going to go in with the yellow. Just, I'm just going to highlight little bits of the top. It just adds a little bit of definition, some interest to the flower, it gives it more di dimension. But there you go. And then I'll take my flat brush, I'm going to go in with the pink, and we're going to drag it across. And just take it into those ends where you've made those small cuts to help highlight this. So you can leave it like that or we can go one step further and take in a tiny bit of the aubergine and then just take the odd corners so with this you don't want to go and do every edge you just want to take a few edges and just 
go from there. You can just do the very tips. We can go one step further and we can add a little bit of leaf green. This is just one by Squire's Kitchen. Again, I'm not really going to worry about switching over my brush. It's going to go in a tiny bit. And then you might want to just take, like, very, very slightly. Don't go crazy. But just, you can just dab tiny bits just on the corners, just, it'll, you know, it'll be so slight, you probably barely notice it, but it just adds such interest, and it'll make it really lifelike. And this works really nicely as well if you do a pink rose, if you kind of make the most of using touches of green on the petals. And there we have it. So this you can now steam if you wish to, just to set the colour. But that's one rose finished.